wonder why water is so much in the earth. How the supply of water stays constant? And how does it rain? To answer all these questions, let's delve in to the water cycle. First of all, there are four processes in the water cycle. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection. First, let's talk about evaporation. Evaporation is a process in which the sun heats up water and the water turns into water vapor and rises up into the air. Now, condensation. What is condensation? Condensation is the process in which the water vapor, which was evaporated earlier, turns into a cloud. How? The water vapor slowly rises up in the air and along with gases and dust it becomes a cloud because of the dust drop because of the dust particles the dust the water clings up to, the water clings which means sticks to the dust particles so it forms a cloud guys before we move on to precipitation some facts about condensation. For fact number one, did you know that condensation can be found on the glass of your balcony and also when you blow and also when you do in winter, you can see your breath because the water droplets condense in winter. Fact number two, did you know that when your mom in the kitchen, her lid gets fogged. Her lid gets fogged up because of condensation from the water in the food. Now let's move on to precipitation. What is precipitation? You see, these clouds in condensation step are white, pearly white at first. But soon they become thunder clouds and they become grey. How? You know Remember we talked about those dust particles that the water droplets cling on to? The clouds become heavier and heavier. Why? Because there are more water droplets cling on to those dust particles, making water drops, not droplets. Droplets are smaller than drops. If drops are this big, then droplets are this big. So these water drops are too heavy for the dust particles to carry. And so the cloud becomes heavier and heavier until it can't take it no more. And then it just drizzles down as rain to earth. This is called as precipitation. Now, what is now that we've finished evaporation, condensation, and precipitation, let's move on to the last step of the water cycle. Now back to precipitation. A few things I would like to say. Did you know that precipitation gets collected in water bodies, seas, and rivers? And also it seeps through and groundwater. Now, let's see the last step, collection. What happens in collection? Now, all our precipitation becomes groundwater and also collects in oceans, rivers, seas, lakes and ponds, etc. And this again evaporates, again condenses, again comes as rain and this is called water cycle. It's going on and on and on as a cycle. That's why we call it this water cycle. Now, let's, before we end this video, I'd like to tell you two facts. Transpiration and sublimation. What is transpiration? Transpiration is actually plant sweat. Plants sweat in the form of water vapor. The water vapor from the sun evaporation and the plant's water vapor comes and forms cloud and condensation. And also, you can see the water droplets on your leaves in, in cold winter months because the transpiration from your plant leaves cool down and become water droplets, also known as dew drops. Now, sublimation. What is sublimation? In particularly colder countries, snow directly forms into clouds without melting. Cloud is when snow without melting directly forms into clouds. That is called sublimation. So that's it for this video. Thank you.